Really to meet people of humor. Ni vizuri kukutana watu wa kuchekesha. You see in the western world. Naona katika ulimwengu wa magharibi. They have places where they cause people to love. Wana mahali watu huenda na kusababisha kucheka. Because they believe. Kwa sababu wanaamini. Love is medicine. Kucheka ni dawa. It makes you to renew your calories. Inakufanya ufanye upya nguvu zako. And uh, make you to live long. Na ikusababishe kuishi mda mrefu. Happy people never grow hot. Sorry. Happy oh, people watu never... wenye furaha hawazeeki. That's why I look young the way I am. Ndio sababu unaonekana jinsi nilivyo. I don't allow sadness. Siruhusu huzuni to cover me. Kunifunika. I like to laugh. Napenda kucheka. When things is not working. Wakati mambo hayatendeki. I take mirror. Nachukua kio and make fun of myself. Na nafanya mizaha kwangu mwenyewe. So that I may maintain that kind of laughter. Ili nidumishe aina hiyo ya kicheko. Uh, Apostle Mark we do appreciate very much. Mtume Mark tunakushukuru sana. For your obedience to come to Africa. Kwa utifu wako kuja Africa. I know it is so costly from your place to here. Najua ni gharama kutoka kwenu hadi hapa. I know there are men and women who still stood with you. Najua kuna watu waliosimama na wewe. These people have paid their flights. Watu hawa wamelipa tikiti yao ya ndege. Even when they came they they paid for for their for their accommodation Hata walipokuja walilipa malazi yao Can you imagine when we went for supper they wanted to pay Hebu waza tulipoenda chakula cha jioni ulitaka kujilipia And I said no Nikasema la You are not doing fair to me Hamunifanyi hivyo sawa We African people Sisi watu wa Kiafrika We are generous Ni watu wa karimu We are the only people on earth Ni watu wa pekee duniani who are, uh, receives people Wanaopokea watu Cook for them tunawapikia without invitation bila mwaliko in the western world katika ulimwengu magharibi unless you have been invited isipokuwa umealikwa you have no portion hauna sehemu here we cook hapa tunapika what we will eat kwa kile tutakachokula and for those who will come na kwa wale watakaokuja whether we have invited them or not tuwe tumewalika mahali tujawalika because we are generous people kwa sababu sisi ndio watu wako kwa nini usijipigie makofi kwa sababu ya hilo so we love you kwa hivyo tunawapenda and let it not be the last time to come to africa na isiwe mara ya mwisho kuja africa you have a room in africa uko na nafasi africa you can make kenya your second home naweza kufanya kenya nyumbani kwako kwa pili we love you and we welcome you tunawakupenda na tunawakaribisha to appreciate our brother charles lazima nimshukuru ndugu yetu charles bishop charles for just letting as no you askofu charles kwa kufanya sisi kujua if it were not him kwa sababu kama haingekuwa yeye we had no reason to meet hatukuwa na sababu ya kukutana but i know lakini najua it was in divine appointment ilikuwa ni miadi ya kiungu so we thank you kwa hivyo tunakushukuru now i know after today najua baada ya leo tomorrow you are leaving kesho mnaondoka i have loved your ministry nimependa huduma yenu very simple man watu rahisi sana who can sleep anywhere anaweza lala popote is a man who stays in five stars ni mtu anayelala hoteli za juu can you imagine he slept somewhere changamwe somewhere hebu waza alilala mahali changamwe what kind of humility ni wokevu aina gani may god bless you mungu akubariki now this time sasa wakati huu we want to hear what god has for us tunakusikia kile mungu alicho nacho kwa jina let us forget everything tusahau kila kitu what we have heard is not important like the what we are hearing now tulichosikia sio muhimu kama kile tunakaribia this kusikia. is the hour that god has meant hii ndio saa ambayo mungu alitenga i want you to open your heart nataka ufungue moyo wako that god may speak to you kwamba mungu anini na wewe can you lift up your right hand Inua mkono wako wa kuume juu. Jesus I am here for you. Yesu niko hapa kwa ajili yako. Jesus I open my heart. Yesu nafungua moyo wangu. I open my heart this morning. Ninafungua moyo wangu asubuhi ya leo. Because I have come with that of expectation. Kwa sababu nimekuja na mioyo ya matarajio. Jesus. Yesu. Visit me this morning. Nitembelee asubuhi ya leo. I am ready to do what you will command me to do. Niko tayari kufanya kile utakachoniambia. I am ready to take your word. Niko tayari kuchukua kazi yako. I am ready to take your direction. Kutayari kuchukua maelekeo. I am ready to obey your command. Kutayari kutii amri zako.
Oh Jesus, Yesu, we thank you this morning because you are in the house. Kwa sababu uko katika nyumba. You said we are two or three gathered in your name. You will be in their midst. That's why we believe you are here. Kwa sababu tunaamini uko hapa. You are here this morning. Uko hapa asubuhi leo. Whatever you went you did good. Ulipoenda ulitenda neema. Today you will do good to your people. Leo utatendea neema watu wako. There some who come and they are hurted. Kuna wengine wanakuja wana you are the one who can heal them. Some who are sick, let them receive healing this morning. Some are disappointed, discouraged. May the word of God encourage them. Those who have lost hope, you can give them up this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, we need you now for the revelation of the word of God. For the conviction that comes from the word of God. You are the highest of righteousness. You can open mysteries which has been kept for us. Thank you, Father. Now I take power and authority against every spirit from the pit of the head. The spirit that brings confusion. It's time to hear the word. How the spirit of the devil you have no room in this place. We lock you out in the the name of Jesus, may the word of God come out with the revelation and understanding. Open the eyes of our understanding this morning. Anoint your servant once more again for your honor and for your glory. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray and believe and somebody say big amen. Now it is my great joy your great honor to bring the man of God to you who God will use in a mighty way yes, we saw him use uh, God, God using him yesterday even the day before yesterday he is the same God who can use him again why can we join our together yes we receive Apostle Mark welcome sir You know the Bible says that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. A merry heart, a joyful heart. That it works medicine. And that is really the truth. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun together. <laughs> and it's a great honor to be here. I love your bishop. I love pastor. And I want to say a very strong thank you for giving us the honor to come and love your people. When you're a pastor and you're a bishop, that's a big trust. When you allow another person to stand in your pulpit. And so I don't take that lightly. Because in Germany I am also a pastor. And I have to protect my pulpit. And Bishop has to protect his pulpit. And so any time that a man of God opens their pulpit to me, I say thank you. And I want to say a big thank you to the church here. Every person that I've talked to, you know what I have noticed? Love, love, love. You are a church full of love. 
You're a family. You know, there's some churches that are teaching centers and preaching centers. They're teaching places, but they're cold. Preaching places, they're cold. But you know what? Love is what turns the church into a family. And this is a family. And God will use this church to love this city. And God will use this church to love this nation and to love other nations. And that's our call. Jesus said that we're to love the way that he loved and the way he was loved by his father. And we have God's love in us to let that love flow. And so you're a wonderful church. And, and this won't be the last time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to say thank you to my brother Charles, Bishop Charles. We've known each other for several years. He came to Germany to, one of, to a conference where I was speaking. And he just sat and he, he just, he was so hungry for the word of God. And just like your bishop, he's bold. Full of love, but humble at the same time. And I had no idea who this man was. But the Lord said to me, That's going to be a key into Africa. Because the name of our ministry. Is from faith to faith to the nations. And I had no idea he was a bishop. He didn't come to Germany and say, I'm the bishop. I had no idea he was a singer. He just came because God told him to go to Germany. So we met. It was a divine appointment. And then through Bishop Charles, he told me. He said, I know a bishop in Kenya. In Mombasa. Mombasa. And he told me for two or three years, he said, You must go to Mombasa. And so this is how our connection came. And this is how God does it. God gives us heart connections. And, and when we follow the Holy Spirit, and we live by faith, God will connect us with the people we're supposed to be connected with. And so I tell you, God has called you here. He's connected you here. And he has something great that he wants every one of you to do. And where one will put a thousand to fly, two will put ten thousand. Where one will send out uh, a thousand to, to fly, to go out. Two, ten thousand. And you have a powerful church. And you know what? I consider you a part of my family too. And my wife says the same.
And I told her, I said, I said, Raffaella. I can't wait till you can come with me to meet these beautiful people in Africa. My wife. His name is Raffaella. But in Africa, she has a different name. They call her Mama Africa. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So I say to you that my wife loves you even Good. though she hasn't met you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word today? Father, in the name of Jesus, I say thank you for this wonderful church. And Father, I pray that you feed this church family through me, that you say what you want to say and you do what you want to do, that your word goes forward forth and becomes flesh. That your word goes forth in demonstration and power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are the one that gives revelation. Give us revelation right now. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe Amen. Amen. When you were born again, everything changed on the inside of you. God himself, through the Holy Spirit, came to live in you. You became what the Bible calls a new creation. When God came to live in you, he brought who he is. He brought his entire nature. In the spirit, in the spirit, you are perfect. You are righteous. You are love. You are joy. You are peace. You are faith. Look at your neighbor and say, Hello, faith. That's who you are. The Bible says that as Jesus is, so are we in this world. And that's what God sees. God sees you in the spirit. When Jesus came to the earth, he was God in the flesh as a son. He was the first son of God in this earth. Jesus was not a servant that served God. He was a son that served God. In the Old Testament, they were servants that served. But in the New Testament, when we are born again, we are sons and daughters of God that serve. And so when we look at the life of Jesus, we can see what it looks like to be a son or a daughter of God in this earth. Jesus said we can do the same work. You have the same relationship with God that Jesus had. Hallelujah. Jesus had something on the inside of him that was like a vehicle. It was like a delivery truck. And it delivers something out of the realm of the unseen into the realm of the seen. 
tunaleta vitu kutoka kwenye ulimwengu wa usioonekana kuja kwenye ulimwengu tunaoona kwa macho and that vehicle is called faith na hiyo gari inaitwa imani Faith brings the new birth. Imani inaleta kuzaliwa kupya. Faith brings healing. Imani inaleta uponyaji. Faith brings the prosperity. Inaleta kufanikiwa utajiri. Faith brings the blessing of God. Inaleta baraka za Mungu. In every area of your life. Katika kila eneo la maisha yako. Every one of us have a call of God upon our life. Kila mtu duniani ana wito wa Mungu katika maisha yake. Paul said that I was called to be an apostle from my mother's womb. Paulo anasema mimi niliitwa kuwa mtume kutoka tumboni mwa mama yangu. So you have a purpose. Kwa hiyo wewe una ahadi. God has a purpose for your life. Mungu ana makusudi na maisha yako. And God gave this tool to you. Na Mungu alikupa hiyo kwako. To deliver what he's called you to do from the inside out. Ili kuanzia ndani yako upeleke vile Mungu amekuletea kuufanya duniani, upeleke na kusambaza duniani. And this tool na hayo mambo is called faith. Inaitwa imani. Faith. Imani. What kind of people are you? Wewe ni mtu wa aina gani? Who are you? Je, wewe nani? Last night, jana jioni, we had people come forward. Tuliona watu wakija mbele to receive physical healing in their bodies. Kuja kupokea uponyaji kwenye miili yao. We taught them the or- the word tuliwaambia neno about healing. Kuhusu kuponya uponyaji. They came forward. Wakaja mbele When they came forward, we gave people an opportunity to receive Jesus. And so they were born again. And there are many people that have been born again in the last few nights. And that's a great testimony. Before we prayed for the sick, we prayed and people were born again. And then I told the people. Na baada hapo nikawaambia I said now that you are born again. Nikawaambia sasa kwa kuwa mmeshapokea Yesu. You have become a believer. Mmeshafanyika kuwa waamini. And so as a believer you can help me get these sick people healed. Na kwa hiyo kwa sababu wote tumeokoka, tunaweza tukaamini pamoja kwamba watu hao wapone. Why could they help me get these sick people healed? Because do you know what believers do? Unajua mkazi amuamini anafanya nini? Ask your neighbor, do you know what believers do? Wewe jirani, unajua kazi ya muumini anayofanya? Believers believe. Muamini anaamini. It's that simple. Ni rahisi namna hiyo. When you got born again, God put his faith in you. Unapookoka Mungu anaweka imani ndani yako. And so I have great news for you. You can believe you are a believer Jesus used this faith and I want you to go with me to Mark the 11th chapter and let's look at a powerful passage of scripture the 11th chapter it says in verse 12 and on the morrow when they were come from Bethany he was hungry well here we see the human part of Jesus there were times that he was hungry he had a body and sometimes that body got hungry and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves he came if happily he might find anything thereon and when he came to it he found nothing but leaves for the time of figs was not yet akaona kwa mbali mtini wenye majani akaenda ili labda aone kitu juu yake na alipofikiria hakuona kitu ila majani maana si wakati wa tini 
So we have a fig tree here. It has leaves on it. And when a fig tree has leaves on it like this, it's supposed to have figs. And so Jesus saw this tree and he said, Hey, there's my meal for today. He was hungry. But notice, it says in verse 14, and Jesus answered. Jesus answered. Have you ever seen anybody talking to a tree? I mean, think about it. The disciples saw Jesus do some very interesting things. Why? Because he had a different kind of relationship with God than they did. He, he had the same kind of relationship you do when you're born again. He was a son of God. And so they saw him pray and talk to God as father. They saw him speak to storms and stop storms. They saw him multiply fish, multiply bread. They saw, they saw him love in a different way than they had ever seen anybody love. They saw a son of God in the earth. They saw what you and I are in this earth. Jesus was our perfect example. Yes, And on this day, Jesus was hungry. Yes, and the tree had no fruit. And it says that he answered the tree. What does that mean? The tree was saying something to him. If you answer something, then that means it's saying something to you. Well, the Bible says that Satan is the God of this world. He's not your God. He's not my God. I have changed kingdoms. And he was not Jesus God. But he's the God of this world. The negative things in this world do not come from God. The Bible says that the thief, the devil, comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we could have the God kind of life. Hallelujah. That we could have relationship with God, the same relationship that Jesus had. God does not promise you in this world that you will not have problems. But he gives you the way. He gives you the way. Who's the way? Jesus. Who's the way? Jesus. We go back to the way. And we look at the example on how Jesus handled the problems. Oh, somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! You have a way to deal with every problem that comes in your life. Jesus! 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 He's the way! And you go back to the Bible. What did Jesus do? Yes, 
this tree was saying something the devil was using these negative natural circumstances to say something you know what they were saying you're not gonna eat today <laughs> you're hungry <laughs> ha ha that tree was supposed to feed you <laughs> your whole ministry is gonna be hungry for the rest of the day <laughs> you're not only Hungry, but your disciples are hungry too. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! You're hungry! Ha ha! You thought you were going to have some food. What did Jesus do? He took his foot and he stepped on that snake. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah! He spoke. Akajibu. He spoke. Akaongea. He spoke. Akatamka. And he cursed the tree. Nakaulani umtini. And he said, No one eats food from you from Na now on. And that's how you deal with negative thoughts that are contrary to the word. When the negative things of this life speak to you and tell you something different than what God has said. You step on that snake. And you say no. You speak. And you stop that circumstance in your life with your tongue. Hallelujah. 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 Before I came to Africa, I have a tent in Germany. I have a tent in Germany. And, and we're going to use that tent to go and do crusades in Germany. I have a trailer for the tent. And thank God my trailer was empty. I didn't have the tent in it. But some people that were full of the devil stole my trailer. And I said, How dare you, devil? I am a covenant son of God. And the Bible says that when the thief steals, he has to return sevenfold. I stepped on the snake. I stepped on it. And one way or another, God's going to give me back sevenfold. I didn't get depressed about it. But I said no. I'm going to turn this into a bigger blessing. And that's what you do with your tongue. You use your tongue. You use your tongue as a weapon against the negative circumstances that come against you. Your tongue was created. Your tongue was made to release the will of God in your life. Hallelujah! Your tongue was to release the will of God. 
And then we do the for celebrating. Because we got the victory. We celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. We celebrate. We celebrate. We celebrate. We celebrate. defeat in your life. Jesus never settled. He never settled for defeat. He always had the victory. Even at the cross. The word says who for the joy that was set before him. <laughs> you see when he went to the cross he knew what was going to happen on the inside. He was pregnant with the resurrection. He was pregnant with our relationship with God. He was pregnant with our healing. He was pregnant with our righteousness. So the devil gave him the best blow he had to give. And the word of God says that when Jesus went to the cross, it was like somebody getting an injury to their heel. But the word of God says that when Jesus raised from the dead, it's like somebody getting a big injury to their head. When the devil crucified Jesus, it was a heel blow. And it hurt. It hurt. But there was a resurrection. And when Jesus resurrected, image in his likeness and God uses faith how does faith work faith sees something on the inside did you know that Bishop Joseph is pregnant. Did you know that? Did you know you're pregnant? Ladies, did you know that all the men in the church are pregnant? What? They got babies on the inside. The preacher man from Germany is pregnant. Amen. Oh, this guy, this, he doesn't know. This guy doesn't know. I mean, men don't get pregnant. No, every one of us have a purpose. God has something powerful for you to do. And it's inside. It's inside. This big building was on the inside of the bishop. Mombasa is on the inside of the bishop.
kuisha Mombasa yote kaya kwa kwenye tumbo la askofu wow All kinds of gifts and callings are on the inside of the bishop. Ma, ma the power na kuito vimewekwa ndani yake kama mimba. Wow. He sees it on the inside. Anaona vitu vilivyo ndani. He saw this church. Aliona kanisa hili. And you know what? He can see the finished product. Unajua nini? Yeye hapa anaona vile kanisa lilivyoisha tayari. I'm telling you get to see and what he sees and this church will be built quicker than what you know. Kiona kile anacho Oh, I see it. Oh, 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 get it. When he stands in this pulpit and talks about the floor and the sanctuary, get it on the inside. Au anaposimama hapa, anapoangalia na kuongea kwamba kanisa linamalizika, anaiona ndani yake. Because he can't do this by himself. Kwa sababu hawezi kufanya hivyo akiwa peke yake. And if you've been called to be a part of this church, kama umeitwa ushirikiane naye. You've also been called to be a carrier of the vision. Na pia umeitwa uje uyabebe maono hayo. It's in you. That means that God will give you the money. Angalia Mungu anakupa pesa. That means that God will give you the working talent. Mungu anakupa vipawa vya kazi na kufanya kazi hapa. That means that all the workers will come. Ina maana wafanyakazi na watendaji kazi watakuja. Everything is here to complete this building. Kila kitu kiko hapa ili kanisa hili lijenge na kuisha. Everything is here to bring multitudes to Jesus. Na kila kitu kiko hapa ndani yenu kitakacholeta maelfu kwa Yesu. God is in you. Huyo Mungu ndani yenu. You're a believer. Wewe ni muamini. You're a believer. Wewe ni muamini. So what happened to you? Kanini kinatokea kwako? Let's look at another part of this scripture. Haya tuangalie sasa andiko lingine. So Jesus curses this tree. Kwa Yesu akaulaani huu mti. And the disciples are thinking about this. Na waya huyu wanafunzi wakawa na waza. And the next day, kwa siku nyingine, Peter pulls the tree up by the roots. Na ye Petro akaona ule mti. And he looks and he says, it's dead. What you said came to pass. This is how God operates. He had creation in him and spoke it out. He could see the light before it manifested. He could see the water and the land departing before it manifested. Bishop could see the church before it manifested. Dr. Joseph Mawewa aliona kanisa kabla hajaanza. You can see your business before it manifests. You can see the blessing of God on your family before it manifests. It's on the inside. This is why we preach the gospel. If we want to get people healed, we must preach on healing. Because it stirs up the vision on the inside. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody shout in this place yeah, today. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus said, Yes, what I say, and then in the next verse, when you and the call of water, verse 22, and that I'm sorry, why she didn't have me. He said, Have the faith, have the God kind of faith. Yes, what I say, ma. Or my Bible says, have faith in God. That's probably what your Bible says. But in the footnote of many American Bibles, in the footnote of the German Bible, it says that in the Greek, it should have been translated, have, the God kind of faith. Wanasema pia hata katika Kigiriki inatafsiriwa kwamba muwe na ile aina ya imani ya kimungu. Have the God kind of faith. Muwe na aina ya imani ya Mungu. What happened to you when you got born again? Inatokea nini unapookoka? You became a believer. Wewe ulifanyika muamini. And it is your nature na ni asili yako to believe. Kuamini. You can believe. 
You can believe. There's nothing in this Bible that you cannot believe. God put his own faith, his faith, his faith. He put his own faith in you. You have God's faith in you. Look at your neighbor and say, You have God's faith. Hello believer. Hello Dafkiangu. Hello believer. Hello believer. Hello. God is in you. You have the same ability that God. You have God's ability in you. And you can believe for everything he promised you. He doesn't just tell us to believe. He puts his belief in us. That's a hammer. That is a hammer. You're not only a believer that's supposed to believe, you can believe. So what do you do? The word says that faith comes by hearing. So you have this faith in you. And you come to church. You listen to messages where the word of God is preached. Some people don't preach the word. Don't listen to those messages. You find what you believe in the Bible. And if you cannot find what you believe in the Bible, it is not God. And you hear the word, and the word goes through your ears, and this God faith in you is waiting. It's waiting. It's waiting. And the word of God drops down and it grabs on to faith and brings it up to your soul. And that's why Jesus said the next verse. He says, For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Can you imagine the disciples? They've watched Jesus curse a fig tree and now he's talking about a mountain moving. Whoa, this guy's wow. He, he's he just killed a tree and now he's talking about a mountain moving. Why did he say that? Because he knows his father moved mountains with faith. And you have mountain moving faith. The mountain represents big things in your life to tell you you can't have it. The big thing in your soul that says it'll never come to pass. And you start speaking and you say no. What God has promised me. And you do the same thing that Jesus did. You speak. Jesus said not only will the mountain move, he said things will move. Everything that stands in your way will move. You speak. We speak that everything that blocks the completion of this building is moved. This building is built. This building is built. 
It's completed. It's finished. Your business is blessed. It prospers. Your body is healed. Your kids are living for Jesus. They don't serve the devil. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the country. You're blessed when you come in and you're blessed when you go out. Your storehouses are blessed. Everything you put your hand to prospers. When the enemy comes out against you one way, he flees seven. This is what you say. Jesus used his tongue. He did what his father does. You use your tongue. And you do what your father does. Hallelujah. Why? Because Jesus said, have the God kind of faith. Do we have it? Do we have it? You see, it was different for the people in the Old Testament than in the New. In the Old Testament, they had a sense knowledge faith. They didn't have the faith of God on the inside of them. And this is why God had them do so many things over and over so they could regularly remind their senses to believe. But for us, hallelujah. For us, we got a better covenant. It's better for you and I. We got a better covenant. With better promises. We got all of the good in the old and more. We got more. Second Peter chapter one verse one. And I want you to look at this verse. It says Simon Peter's servant apostle Jesus Christ. Now we are in the New Testament. You see, Jesus always gave transition messages to prepare the people for the new life that they would have in Him. To prepare the people for becoming sons and daughters. They were servants then but they would become sons and daughters of God and so here where Jesus said have the God kind of faith now look what it says to the New Testament people to the sons and daughters of God look at your neighbor and say he's talking to you tell your neighbor if you're a born again Christian he's talking to you he's talking to you I'm a them <laughs> I'm a them that's why Jesus said whosoever believeth I'm a whosoever you're a whosoever to them that have obtained obtained means you got it you got it you got it I got it I got God's faith I got it, I got it. tell your neighbor you got it 
And we all have the same. Oh, Bishop Joseph, he's got special faith. To do special big things. He's a bishop. And I don't make light of that. But you know what? He's also a son. And you know what? You are also sons. And daughters. And because you're sons and daughters. And I'm a son. I'm a preacher too. But I'm a son. And being a son makes us, and daughter makes us all the same. And the word says, we have like precious faith. How do we have the like precious faith? Because we have God. Faith in us. And with that faith, all things are possible to him that believes. Everybody say, I am a believer. Why do you think John said greater is he that's in me? This is the key. You always have this well in you of God. It's not your ability, it's his ability working through you. Oh, somebody shout, I got God in me. I got the greater one on the inside. I got God in me. I got God's faith in me. I got the same faith in me that created this world. That's why Jesus could speak to the tree. Because that same faith was used to make the tree. And you have this in you. And it's called precious. Why? Because all this vision in you, you're pregnant with it's of God. It will bring it to the outside. Church. Dream. Big. And the word says, however big your dream, and he's still able to do more. And speak it. Jesus said to speak. Yes, what he said, God spoke. Mungu alitamka. You use your tongue to bless. Umtumia ulimi wako kubariki. Which means you speak the blessing of God into your life. Ina maana unajibariki, unatamka baraka kwa ajili ya maisha yako. And any time the devil tries to do something. Kila mara shetani anapojaribu kukuhubiri njili ya kipumbavu. You use your tongue as a weapon. Tumia ulimi wako kama silaha. And you curse. Hani. And you say no you don't. Na kumwambia just like Jesus did with this tree. Speak. 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 
pastor. When pastor stands up and says the building is done, you stand up and say the building is done. When pastor stands up and says Mombasa comes to Jesus, you stand up and say Mombasa comes to Jesus. Why? Because you know that's the will of God. Speak. I told the people a few months ago, I'm going to Africa. I spoke. And I told them God's going to do great things. And I spoke. And I said, you pray and you speak. And you help me. And you've been speaking. And we all speak together. Because God uses us to release his ability in this earth. Every mountain moves. And every blessing of God manifests. Faith will deliver what God has promised in your life. Thank you today for the opportunity to teach you. And tonight we'll go forward with the crusade. Come tonight. Invite people. And when you think about the crusade, speak good things. Amen. Amen. It's a wonderful blessing to be here. And I want to say thank you. And I believe for many people again to come to Jesus tonight. Bishop, thank you. Bow your head before the Lord. Bow your head. Just think about that kind of faith. I thank you, Father. I honor you. I thank you. Because in you all things are possible. You have given us mouth and tongue to speak. I speak healing to those who came sick. May you receive your healing now. I declare you whole. In the name of Jesus, I set every captive free. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing in every in every body which is acting. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. I don't want to assume. You are 